welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today's session is on the new Microsoft Defender antivirus reporting capabilities in Microsoft 365 Business Premium for SMBs. To start, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Catherine Martin. I am a program manager at Microsoft's small medium business security and management team. Today's session is on the new Microsoft Defender antivirus reporting capabilities in Microsoft 365 Business Premium for SMBs. Okay, let's talk about customer insights. Over the last few months, we took a listen to our SMB customers and got feedback as to where their personnel managing IT resources were struggling the most. We heard loud and clear over and over again that there was no good way for IT journalists to gain insights on a specific device across an entire org, especially when on average, each employee is issued anywhere between one to three devices. So we spent the last few months solving and iterating on what were the most pressing issues according to our customers and integrated it with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Some of the feedback received from IT journalists were, it's rather time consuming to go to each device in order to understand if there are any current threats. So I'd like to see everything in one place and have a clear overview. Another concern was whether Microsoft Defender antivirus is running, if it's up to date, and most importantly, if it's mitigating threats. And if so, are there any actions I urgently need to take as an admin? Requirements. In order to scope the problem in a way we could solve for it, we focused on just a few requirements. Let me expand on what those are, and I'll tie them into the demo as well. In terms of requirements, you're going to need the following three things. Number one a Microsoft 365 Business Premium license, which includes features for device management and advanced security. Number two, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Now, please note, we're currently only supporting Windows 10 devices for our reporting. And three, you have to set up and configure your devices in Intune. Now, one thing I'd like to highlight is that Microsoft Defender has been rated as a top AV solution in terms of its protection, performance, and usability by multiple benchmarks. And as I mentioned, it's also available with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Now on to the demo. As I mentioned to you before, I've prepared a two-part demo for you today. Before I show you the new Microsoft Defender antivirus reporting capabilities in M365 Business Premium, I want to walk you through to show you how easy it is to set up and configure a device in M365 BP. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started. OK, so here we are. Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Now, let me give you a little context here before we proceed. I'm going to walk you through the process configuring security policies so that you're able to get the insights on how Defender is performing. So here at the home page at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, in order to get started, I'm going to direct your attention to the left nav, and we're going to click on Setup. So let's go there. OK, so here we are. Welcome back, Christopher Boyd. So we're at the sign in and security page. Um, and what we want to do is we want to scroll down ever so slightly and access secure your Windows 10 computers. Now, remember, as I told you in our requirements, right now we're currently only supporting Windows 10 devices for reporting. So here on secure your Windows 10 computers, protect the Windows 10 computers in your org from malicious threats like viruses and malware. So we're going to click on the view button. And once we've clicked on that, then we're greeted by this page that says secure your Windows 10 computers. And it says small and medium sized businesses can protect the data on Windows 10 computers from unauthorized access and malicious threats like viruses and malware by creating a lightweight security baseline policy. This policy will apply to all Windows 10 devices that are enrolled in Microsoft Intune. Now, one thing I want to draw your attention, if you look here on the right of the screen, it says one computer is enrolled in Microsoft Intune. This has already been enrolled in Microsoft Intune. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to work on this particular computer and we're going to create these policies. Um, and as I mentioned just before, we're going to create a set of policies that will ensure that this particular device in this organization is using Microsoft Defender. There is some important information here to follow. If this is not a new tenant, you have to make sure certain settings haven't been changed. If this is a new tenant, then you have to go right ahead and leave all the defaults and apply the settings. However, if your tenant has existed for a while, you want to verify that you have these appropriate settings within Azure Active Directory, which is what is covered in this gray box down below effectively. So 
Existing tenants should probably take note what's important and verify that the correct settings are still configured the way you expect them to be configured. New tenants can just apply the settings. So we're gonna go and click on the manage button. And here on the right flyout, we see secure your Windows 10 computers. And over here are these five policies. Uh, we recommend that you accept them as defaults. And so since they're already checked off, um, they read as follows. Help protect PCs from viruses and other threats using Windows Defender antivirus. Help protect PCs from web-based threats. Prevent network access to potentially malicious content on the internet. Help protect files and folders on PCs from unauthorized access with BitLocker. And lastly, turn off device screen when idle for this amount of time. So we have it set for five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the bottom here and apply the settings, allow that to process, and voila, there you have it. Your security baseline policy has been applied. Now, one thing I also wanna show you while we're here in the admin center is you can also verify and check to see if those policies have been set. So I'm gonna walk you through that process as well. So let me X out of this over here. And now I'm gonna go back to the left nav. So let's head on over and go to the device node and I'm gonna select policies, okay? And I'm gonna click on this checkbox here. And here we see Windows 10 device protection. Some settings are on, so let's go and edit. And I am going to drop down on the Chevron here to see the drop down menu here. And here we go. Right here, we see the five policies that we initially set as the baseline policies, and they're already turned on, as you can see, the three here and the two here. And yes, our turn off device screen when idle for five minutes appears here as well. So I'm gonna save this and I can close out of here. And there you have it. We've created device policies for that one uh, Windows 10 computer. And so um, at this point, I'd like to share some announcements. So let's head on over back. We're giving you a preview of what's to come. So since we were just in the device node, this is a new thing that we've been working on uh, called active devices. Devices appear in this list after connecting to Microsoft 365 Business. After connecting, devices are enrolled in device management, which can be defined by policies. Policies can be created or fully managed so that you can remove company data or reset the device to factory settings. So in this device um, page here with active devices, we've integrated some of the AV features. So as you can see, um, we have Defender AV status, and we also notate how many active threats there are per device. There's also information on the device state um, if it's pending anything further. So let's just click on one particular device on this list and get some more information. So I'm going to click on Albert's work. And once I clicked on Albert's work, uh, I can see that on the right flyout panel, it's given me more detailed information. Um, this is information that I can drill down to a little further. This is antivirus protection. I can see that there's a lot going on over here right now, and this is uh, very useful for the IT journalists so that they know what where to allocate their time and resources to. So um, this particular device is going to require a reboot. I can also see that Microsoft Defender antivirus is not protected on this particular device because the real-time protection has been disabled. I also see that it's due for a full scan, so that's something I need to schedule because it's long overdue. Other than the antivirus protection, I can see information on the active threats, and this gives me more insight on what those threats are, what the name is, and when it was first detected. So in this particular instance, we see that there is a severe threat called blue floss, and it was detected at 6 p.m. So now let's move on to part two of the demo. The new Microsoft Defender antivirus reporting capabilities in M365 Business Premium. So once again, we're at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and this is the home page. As you can see, there are a number of cards on this home page. You can add a card. In this case, I'm going to add the Microsoft Defender antivirus card. Protect your devices with Microsoft Defender antivirus. This is a new card that we've developed, and as you can see, it features uh, two insights. On this particular one, um, it has the 10 active threats detected across 14 devices, and it also shows how many threats 
have been blocked or quarantined by Defender. So let's click on to active threats. Okay, so now that we've clicked on active threats, we're on the active threats page. And active threats put your business at risk. View threats in your environment to understand which users and devices are affected by them. In this page, all the threats are broken down in the order of critical threats. So they range from the most severe, then high, then moderate, and then low and unknown. And on the table, they're all displayed from highest severity to lowest severity. So let's click on blue floss. Once I've clicked on blue floss, this right panel emerges and I can get more information about blue floss. I see that it's a threat, it's severe, and that it's a virus type. And aside from that, I can also get some more information about this particular threat through the Microsoft Security Intelligence. Also, what I'm also looking at is this panel also reads out and tells me how many devices are at risk. And so here I can see that there are two. And they're two separate uh, work devices. One is Albert's and the other one is Betsy's. And both these two devices have two instances of the same threat called blue, throt, blue floss. Um, while I'm at this flyout panel here on the right, um, I can also navigate. So um, we can take a look and head on over to clicking up or down. Uh, so I'll click down and I can, or up, and I can see all the other threats that are coming from the main page. So let me click out of that for now. And I can also do a search using the filter and I can uh, search for a specific threat that way as well. And there you have it. This is our first iteration on the active threats page. Um, and this is currently uh, being developed a little bit further. So I'm going to share with you next some of the announcements on where we're taking things to the next level. So stand by for that. So that's our full demo, but I have a little more for you. And now I'd like to show you where we'll be going next. So here we are again at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and I want to draw your attention to our Microsoft Defender antivirus card. This is the card that we initially presented to you, but what I want to um, showcase is that this is where we're thinking about uh, going in terms of next steps. We're going to be adding these three uh, features onto this card, so it'll be information on what devices need antivirus protection enabled, what devices are overdue for a scan, and what devices need antivirus updates. And from this very same card, you can also click to see the AV protection here below. So let's take another look at that further. So here we are at the antivirus protection. At this point, we can see all of the devices here, and they're broken down accordingly to the following compartments. Uh, devices that are pending, devices that are not protected, devices that need antivirus updates, devices that need full scans, and devices that need quick scans. It's also giving me a tally of how many devices are clean in total. So um, as we can see, there's a, a comprehensive table. And if you were to click on one particular item, um, so let's say as we did it in the demo, we can click on Albert's work. We'll be given this other information here on the right flyout. And, and it gives us the opportunity to take actionable steps from that particular panel. So here, for instance, I can see that um, if the antivirus updates are uh, required, I can go ahead and hit the button and, uh, and update the antivirus. Um, I can also see that um, a quick scan is required, so I can run a quick scan here as well. I can also schedule a full scan uh, from this particular panel as well. Other actionable steps that we're thinking about in the pipeline is giving the IT journalists the ability to also take other steps uh, about these active threats. So we'll give them the opportunity to quarantine, to clean, block, remove, and necessary and appropriate actionable steps as these devices detect the active threats. So three things I'd like you to leave today's session with regarding the new Microsoft Defender AV reporting capabilities in M365 BP. First, you're gonna need a Microsoft 365 Business Premium License, which includes features for device management and advanced security. Second, you're gonna need Microsoft Defender Antivirus. 
please note, like we mentioned before, we're only currently supporting Windows 10 devices for our reporting at this time. And third, you're going to have to set up and configure your devices in Intune. Stay connected with us. To learn more about our product, please visit us at aka.ms forward slash m365bp or join our community page at aka.ms forward slash smb tech community. We welcome your questions and feedback. Thank you. Thank you.